burnt out and melted signs. It really is like some kind of nuclear destruction. That's what it looks like. It's no life at all, just some smouldering. And then you'll come to another part that's completely untouched for about, you know, 20 metres, a house that's standing, greenery around, and uh, there's no rhyme or reason. It's indiscriminate, you know. Um, and unfortunately, you know, people's um, animals that haven't been able to get out of the paddocks, you know, which is a horrible thing to see. And uh, so the carcasses are still there. Horses, yeah, in the paddocks that haven't been able to get out. And uh, yeah, it's it's not a pretty sight. And you know, the community up there are absolutely amazing. There's no sense of panic. They are very um, helpful. I mean, we arrived with a van of food. They all helped unload. Um, we got all the fresh food off and put it into uh, food works and also um, another relief centre around the corner. So they're stocked up on non-perishables and yeah, it's just uh, I mean non-perishable fruits and stuff that doesn't need refrigerating because there's no power out there at all. So if everything's in the dark, you know, I can we could use the ladies and you know I needed a torch to try and find it. It really is. Um, it's like something in the dark ages. So how many people are still up there? Would you imagine what what's the remaining community size? Um, it's difficult to say. I mean, I see people come straight out when we deliver the food and uh, and fill up there, you know.